Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode, I'm gonna be talking all about our road trip from California all the way down to Miami, Florida and Key West. So let's get started. The first thing that I wanna go over is just a couple of tips and advice that I have for you from the experience that myself and my husband and our little puppy Cooper went through on our road trip. The first piece of advice that I like to give is that you wanna make sure that you're stopping somewhere safe. If you're a planner like me and you are hangry oftentimes like me, that you're gonna to wanna to stop somewhere that has all of the necessities for you to be able to survive your road trip. So I definitely suggest instead of going to a just ordinary gas station, you're gonna to wanna to stop at a place called a truck stop. Now a truck stop is a place where yes, trucks stop semi-trucks, they go and they have showers, they have a larger bathrooms. And what's great about truck stops is they not only have your just everyday gas station snacks, but they usually have like a restaurant attached to it, or they have um, lots of extra goodies that an ordinary gas station wouldn't have. Now there's nothing wrong with ordinary gas stations. We stopped at those too, but the cool thing about truck stops is they even had things for your car. They had things for um, hygiene. They had a lot of extra cool different types of drinks that you could go. Maybe that's because we were out of state, but I noticed and it was something that we made it a point to continue to do the rest of our road trip. Two of those truck stops are called Loves and the other one is called Pilot. So if you see a Loves or a Pilot nearby, detour and take a pit stop there because you will get whatever you need and you'll probably be happy because of it. The next piece of advice that I have to give is make sure that you guys have a playlist or a podcast saved and downloaded because chances are you will, and if you're coming from California, you will experience dead spots where you're gonna go, oh my gosh, I have no internet, and you're gonna be driving each other crazy. No, I'm kidding, we actually did just fine, but it definitely helped to listen to something because driving 3,000 miles is not just your typical like road trip where you're stopping a lot, staying the night at multiple places, although we did, we had some pretty long stretches too, some of those of which were like 12 hours long. All right, so now the fun part. I'm gonna get into all the places that we visited. So my husband and I decided to stop at a few places on the way there. I'm not really gonna talk about on the way back because it was just so crazy and we were kind of in a rush to get home. So the places that we decided to stop on the way there were Tucson, Arizona. The next place was Austin, Texas. And then after that, we stopped in New Orleans, New Orleans, Louisiana. Blech. I couldn't say that correctly. <laughs> The next place that we stopped at was Miami, Florida. So those were our four main destination spots. And then because of the whole miscommunication thing, I ended up extending my stay and staying a little bit longer in Key West. But it all worked out in the end. I'm here, I'm home, he's home, and we had a really good time. Briefly gonna share a little bit about Tucson. Tucson's super duper cute. Totally got like cactuses everywhere and we didn't go when it was super hot, but they have really cute coffee shops. Um, they have really cool wall art all over the place. It's definitely got that desert vibe. So if you're into that, you gotta check out Tucson, Arizona. We stayed at this little place called the Tuxon, T-U-X-O-N. And it was kind of like a motel that was re totally redone to look like this really bougie Airbnb and it was super modern. So moving on to Texas. Texas was adorable, loved it, huge, not even adorable. I don't even think that's the right word to describe Texas, but I loved Texas so much. It was full of just, you know, all these beautiful sceneries and cute wineries, especially in Fredericksburg. If you're in the area, you're driving through the route that we took, Southern California to Texas, you have to check out Fredericksburg. Ton of wineries there, awesome, dying to go back. So in Austin, if you're looking to check out Austin, there are a couple places that I suggest you go visit. One of them being Rainy Street. Rainy Street is super duper cool because it has basically all these old buildings and they didn't touch them and they kind of built the city around these old buildings and they turned all of these old buildings into restaurants slash bars. So if that's your thing, if you like the old town places that you like to go to when you travel or you like to go bar hopping or you like to try new foods, new drinks and get immersed in the culture, you have to check out Rainy Street. Of course, there are other bars in Austin that have 
you know, rooftop bars with live music, live bands. It's, it's super cool, but Rainy Street is so unique and quaint, and I highly suggest if you go, rent a bird, one of those little scooters. You just download an app on your phone, and then from there, you are riding through Rainy Street, and it's pretty quick. The next place we went to, actually on the corner of Rainy Street, was called Ember and Rye. I believe it was called, yes, Ember and Rye. Super cool restaurant, totally unique. I don't wanna to give too much away because it's all about the experience, but I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. Everything is local. Everything that they use there is only locally grown things and their menu changes every single day. That's all I'm gonna say about it because I don't wanna give it away. You have to check it out for yourself. The next place that David and I decided to stop was of course all the way from Austin, Texas to Louisiana and we went to New Orleans and we were both dying to go check out New Orleans because, we, because we've heard that there is nothing like it and those people were right. Can't remember who those people are but they were right. So New Orleans is really cool. I will say if you're planning on visiting New Orleans make sure it's not hurricane season. I think we went right after hurricane season. We noticed that it was really sad. Um, some of the gas stations weren't you know up and running. Um, a lot of houses looked like they had just suffered from some damage and it was just it was really sad to drive through so you want to make sure that you're checking the weather before you decide to stop somewhere that uh, frequently has hurricanes. You also want to make sure that you're packing an umbrella. Of course on a road trip you just want to make sure you have that anyway. Um, and then also too there's a thing called a shoe scam. There are people that are out there that are trying to get your money if they say, hey, I bet you I can tell you where your shoes came from. So there is a shoe scam. Beware. You want to make sure that you're keeping an eye out and you're not answering their questions. Um, there is a couple other places that we went to to enjoy live music. There's tons of different bars and spots, you guys, but one of them was super cute. It was called Beignet Cafe. They had live j jazz band music and, ugh, the culture. It was so hot and I enjoyed like a nice sweet iced tea with my beignets. I had powder everywhere. It was like bliss. It was the best. <laughs> so the next spot that I would definitely check out is, um, that was on Bourbon Street, by the way. The next place that I would check out was Jacksonville Quarter. This is totally like French and there's beautiful buildings. There's like music. Everybody's in a cheery mood. Super duper cute. If you're in the Jackson uh, Quarter, Jacksonville Quarter, then you also want to check out this cute restaurant called Justine's. Super good food, has an 80s vibe, totally French vibe to it. Loved it. You have to check it out. All right, the last place we decided to stop was, of course, Miami. Miami is beautiful. The waters there are like crystal clear. And the only thing I will say is I'm not used to the humidity, so if you're not either, Get yourself some cool like updo hairstyles or hats, you know, because man, let me tell you, it was Struggle City. It looked a little bit scary. So um, the other thing is we did stay at a couple of dog friendly places. I'm actually just going to drop that in a description below because I realized I'm running out of time on this video here and I don't want to keep you here for too long because then you're going to be sitting there going, okay, lady, get on with it. Anywho, um, <laughs> in Miami, you definitely want to check out the Miami Zoo. You're gonna wanna check out Wynwood Walls, the art district, beautiful, amazing. You just kinda sit there gawking at all the paintings around. It's gorgeous. And of course, you have to, have to, have to check out Little Havana. Little Havana, we went to this place called Cuba Ocho. Oh my gosh, the live music was insane. It looks like it's a museum, but it's actually not. It is a bar, restaurant, where you can go and you can dance, which is like my favorite thing in the world. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, there are chicken and roosters everywhere. Chickens and roosters just everywhere in, in Florida. I don't know why, I don't know what that's about, but especially in Little Havana. So make sure you take a little selfie with some chickens and roosters. So in closing, the road trip there and back was totally an adventure. So if you are in a rush to get somewhere, road trips probably aren't your thing. I would definitely just fly, get it over with. But if you're up for the adventure, you want to plan ahead, make sure you're stopping at the safe locations, and of course, enjoy your stay. I did not mention dog-friendly places, so I will make sure and put that into the description below. And as always, communicate your plans ahead of time and have fun. So I hope you got value out of this video. If you know somebody who can get value out of this video, comment, share, like, subscribe.